Hey there, this is Tyler with Theater Design Company. Today I'm going to go over a few of the settings on a MusicCast app. Um, MusicCast, as you know, is a, just a whole house audio system. It also works with receivers, turntables, soundbars. Um, but today I'm going to go over basic four features of the Yamaha MusicCast app. We'll go over room naming, changing the photo of a room, and then the two most important features of the MusicCast app, which is the room linking and the room presets which will assist in uh, automatic source selection and uh, just simplifying the system out so what I've got here is a five room demo system so we got living room kitchen dining patio and landscape you can see landscapes probably not the right image you want nor is dining so and uh, living room we may not want that to say living room so the first thing we'll do so let's go into the gear wheel here let's change our living room to just living so we'll hit return and let's change that to a photo that we like. So you can actually take your own photo or you can select a photo from the library if you already have an image of your living room. In this case, we're, since it's a demo, we're going to select a stock photo from Yamaha. And then we like our names, but let's go back down to our gear wheel. Let's go down to landscape. And uh, obviously we're not going to have a uh, piano out in our landscape. So let's, uh, let's do this one here. And then last, since we're in here, let's change our dining room. So again, settings, dining room, and uh, let's look for a dining room. That's close enough. So basically in that first 20 or 30 seconds there, we've changed our name from living room to living. We've got our images all set up, and it really is that simple. You, you can just gear wheel, select the room you want to make modification to, and change the settings hit return or done in your setup. So the second settings on this is what we get asked the most for from customers. So, you know, you got a couple different scenarios. You got a wife, a husband, you know, family members, kids, um, and you also got multiple zones. So in this case, it's a five zone system. Living room music cast is probably going to be a receiver and the kitchen will probably be a zone player. Uh, dining room, probably a second zone player. And then uh, patio could be a, uh, a standalone one you put on the table and maybe landscapes tied into some rock speakers through another uh, like a WXA 50 amplifier um, in this scenario husband likes to have the kitchen uh, dining room and living room all play at once maybe it's a big common space so what he's gonna want to do is hit link gonna link the kitchen to the living room and dining and select OK so now you've essentially turned this into a two zone system you can go into the kitchen click down here click your volume and it actually gives you independent control so maybe you want a little more loudness in the kitchen less in the living room and maybe even less in the dining and then the master control will follow those settings it's a really nice feature it's back out of there uh, say your patio uh, overlooks your landscape it's all the same common zone um, you, maybe you don't use your patio you know, standalone speaker all the time but you do use the landscape so you want to tie those together you're going to link, link landscape to your patio. And now you essentially have two zones, same functions with the volume. So that gets your room linking set up. Now, if you wanted to link all of them, you're going to have to unlink some stuff. So say we want to link the kitchen to every room in the house, including the outdoor. To unlink the patio, hit link, kitchen. Now we're going to add the patio and landscape. Now you essentially have one huge zone. Let's you set all the volumes how you want. You've got a master volume. It's going to play the same source to all those zones. All five will play the same source, same time, same level. So back out of there. Hit the link button. And let's unlink these for our next step. So now you're back to square one. Everything's its own. Living room can play its surround sound music. Kitchen can play Pandora. Dining room can play Spotify and patio can play whatever, you know, net radio, anything else you want. It's, it's actually on net radio now. Um, so, you know, husband Joe wants to listen to uh, kitchen, living room, dining, and uh, he gets tired that it's always on Spotify. What he can do is link these rooms, go kitchen, living, dining. He can press and hold the kitchen plus two rooms, save it to a room preset, and he can go... Joe's audio. So now under the room preset, he's got Joe's audio. So 
he's got first part set up but he's got it on the server and he's now having to go in here and, and select all his sources well he can click on Joe's audio he can go to edit room presets click the source and uh, so say he, he just airplays it off his phone he'll save that now when he goes in here I'm gonna back out of it hits this goes to airplay it will click over and play his airplay every time he wants to do something so you can see the airplay icon popped up on his kitchen in two rooms so he's got that set up under a room preset and then say he does a lot of entertaining so let's do another room setting let's uh, unlink these everything's back to square one we're gonna link from the kitchen we're gonna link all of them so now you got kitchen plus four rooms and press and hold and it's saved to room presets Let's go down to number four. Let's do, uh, you know, maybe audio everywhere is the name. Again, these, these can be whatever you want. I'm just naming them for the tutorial. Audio everywhere. So now under the room presets, you got Joe's audio, audio everywhere. And let's go back and let's unlink these again. And so maybe you just want to have the kitchen and dining living rooms actually in a separate room of the house completely. Let's link kitchen. Let's cut that to dining. Let's press and hold. Let's save to room presets. And let's put a, a scene in that's called dinner. So now we got Joe's audio. It's kitchen plus two rooms. Go to room presets. You got dinner. Now you got kitchen plus one room. It unlinked the living room, so you could actually have a surround sound system playing in the living room and have the kitchen and dining room playing something else. So, and then maybe your friends came over and you guys are jamming some tunes. Hit audio everywhere. It clicks. It, now you've just took the whole house and it's done audio everywhere. Now what it does is it's playing off the kitchen. So if you were playing, you know, something in the kitchen and you click that, going to do everything unless you did the room preset audio button which would select the source that you play the most so not to confuse things let's unlink these and let's add one more link set of we like so let's do a patio let's link it to landscape and then you got your patio plus one room press and hold save to room presets and let's do a outdoor Now under your room presets, now you have outdoor. So your patio and landscape are going to be tied together. And then again, let's show you the other trick on this. Let's hit room presets. Let's press and hold outdoor. Let's edit. So let's say every time you're outside and you want to do outdoor, you want it to use your Bluetooth. So we'll save that. So now your room presets be patio plus one room. And it's going to, every time you click that, it's going to go to your Bluetooth. And again, remember you had Joe's audio. So every time you click Joe's audio, it's going to do the kitchen plus two rooms. That scene still works. You can have your audio everywhere setting. That's the whole house plus outside all tied together. And again, these are just scenarios. You can configure this however you want. And then you have dinner. So those are four presets built up. You know how I would do them or some customers we've done in the past set them up. And then you always have the option here to unlink. So we're 100% back to square one. So hopefully this will help you out with some room presets and some settings. The We really like the setting under here where you can press and hold and you can edit the room preset and then select your source. We found a lot of customers will just navigate through or they'll have it tied into a surround system that's playing something in there and they'll have to go over and click Pandora or go over and click AirPlay. What that allows allow them to do is automatically click to the most used source. And, and mainly it will be like Pandora or AirPlay or something like that. So hopefully that helps you out. And uh, this will make the app a little bit easier for you guys to use. Have a good day.